Oh, I normally clap. Oh, clap. <laughs> well, how did the concept for A Chef's Life come up? About four years ago, I uh, was invited to make collard kraut with um, some of my neighbors in Jones County. And um, I went and spent an afternoon with these gentlemen doing this very old school thing. And I, I had never seen anyone do anything like this. I didn't know people still did this sort of thing. And I thought, wow, that's so cool. Nobody knows about this. Um, I would really love to document this sort of thing. So it started out as a way to document these dying food traditions in my region, like making collard kraut, hog killings, canning and preserving, um, putting up corn, stuff like that. So it's part, I guess, cooking show, part reality show, because your life is in there. Is there anything that you regret doing or regret saying um, so far? Lots of stuff. You know, we shot the first episode about two and a half years ago. And so as a chef and a person, I have grown and um, I have different ideas now and so I, although nothing that I said or did was wrong, I may have done it differently now. So um, definitely, I think if you're given the opportunity to look back on things, you always would maybe uh, tweak some of your answers and I probably will do that today. <laughs> um, what's the biggest challenge of running a seasonal kitchen? Just having to be on quick on your feet all the time. You know, I was driving over here today and I got three calls about, well, we don't have this anymore. What are we going to do? Um, what can we replace it with? And so when, when the season is over, you have to uh, change things very quickly. And so that's just um, one of the challenges of working um, with a seasonal kitchen. Do you have a favorite ingredient or maybe a favorite time of year, depending on what comes up? Um, whatever time of year is approaching ends up being my favorite time of year. Um, you know, obviously as a chef, I love summer. I love cooking with things like um, tomatoes and corn and okra, but now that summer's drawing to a close, I'm ready to see it go. And I'm longing for, you know, things like butternut squash and sweet potatoes and those warm fall spices. So I, I appreciate the ebb and flow of the seasons and get excited with what's coming next. We saw in the first episode that you have twins. How do you balance having a show, a restaurant, and a family? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't really say that I am balancing it that well. Uh, I, uh, I have a lot of help. Um, we used to live in my parents' home. Now we live next door to them, so they're a source of um, much help. My mother-in-law just moved. Uh, to our community from Chicago, so that's more help. Um, and so it's, it's a juggling act all the time. Cool. Well, thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you.